Even with hundreds of beds given away over the years, a local furniture chain says the need is not going away. It's not. Sarah Kirkley tagged along as mattresses were delivered today. Has details from our Grand Island newsroom. 109 beds will be donated this year. They're not only going to local families, but also places like Hope Harbor, a shelter that rarely has a bed to spare, and Grand Island Public Schools, which says some of their immigrant families come here with nothing. Empty room after empty room, and spaces with only a cot filled with a new bed. Thank you for all the those delivering the mattresses, like Tri-City Storm player Connor Velasano, say it's hard not to be affected. I'm kind of lost of words seeing some of the stuff. I mean, it's pretty rough, but uh, feels good to give these guys a place to sleep on. Slumberland owner Gail Bonas has been doing it for the last 16 years, donating more than 700 mattresses. But she has a favorite delivery, a bed she personally handed over to an 11 year old. He had two scrunched up pillows with two flannel shirts and it's the first time he ever received a bed. And then I got a thank you letter from him and he said, I used to lay on the floor and stare up at the ceiling. Now I lay on my bed and know someone's looking down on me. So that's why we do it. And the crisis center is benefiting. We have a need not only for quality bedding in our shelters, we also have a need to assist people with quality bedding in new homes. Executive Director Lexan Roach says leaving everything behind makes escaping an abusive situation even harder. The whole idea of going into a safe home but not having a place for your child to sleep makes really takes away what what should be a positive experience. Merry Christmas. But nothing was taking away from this one. These kids also got a stuffed animal from the storm and a quilt from the Third City Christian Peacemakers who've been sewing year round for this event. And it was definitely something neat to see. I'll bet it was. Sarah, thanks, thanks so much Sarah. for that report.